If you own an older iPad and you think the battery is going bad, Apple makes it so you can't find out what the battery health is. They were forced to do it on their iPhones, and so now, you know, they're how kind they are. They finally made it transparent on the iPhones. With the iPads, they don't make it available, which is really annoying. So, if you want and you have a MacBook computer available to you, plug in the uh, iPad to your MacBook, download Coconut Battery app. I already downloaded it and I opened it. And under here, under iOS device, I click on that. Just need to refresh or maybe I have to unplug and plug it again. Just give me a second while I unplug and plug. So I unplugged and plugged it again. Clicked on iOS device over here and you can see uh, battery health is comparable to this design capacity section down over here. What it's saying is it should have 7,300 milliamp hours, I think. And right now, it can only go up to 63% of that, which isn't great at all. Or, yeah, it's just 63%. So it'd be nice if I could just have a setting like on my iPhone where I go to battery in settings and then to battery health and check my maximum capacity but I don't have that here on my iPad and I have to go through this process of hooking up to MacBook and running a third-party app so anyways just wanted to mention that uh, the nice thing about using this app is it does tell me how many times I've recharged the battery which is quite a lot so Part of that was because the battery was going bad. But anyways, uh, over and out.